So this is a $10,000 amusement park experience and we're here because... So my husband and I were debating, does more money buy you more fun at amusement parks? So to answer this question, we recruited our five-year-old daughter Mila, a child who has no concept of money, to live through five different theme park experiences from $1 all the way up to a $10,000 Disneyland VIP experience. Mila! Hi, Mila! Hi, Noah! I mean, over the next couple of days, we're gonna go to five different theme parks, and you're gonna have to tell us which one was the best, okay? <laughs> and now we're starting with the $1 experience! Everything you see here is from our house! Mila, I'm not a machine. <laughs> I know Mila will love the $10,000 experience a lot more than this. You agree? I agree. So Sala's brother's here with us to live all the experiences. Let's go to number two! And then we headed to our second theme park. So now we're here at the $10 experience and we're about to go on the choo-choo train! Yeah. $10. You can make kids that excited. That sounds so boring. They're having fun. Look how excited they are. I know are. they are. Oh my god. <laughs> <goodness. laughs> oh. And the kids were having the time of their lives. Okay, so it's done now. You have fun. Yeah. Daddy, now I want to go to the bigger theme park. But little did Mila know, things were going to get crazy before she has to make a decision by the end of the day. Do you see how excited they were at $10? How excited do you think they're going to be at $10,000? And then we headed to our third location, which is a little more expensive. So now we're here at the Santa Monica Pier, and we're about to go through the $100 experience. Where we're not allowed to go a penny over the budget. So the good thing about this place is there's no entrance fees. So we can go in for free. To go on the rides, we actually need tickets. We're gonna get them from We gotta here. be strategic. So with this hundred bucks, we gotta buy food, dessert, tickets. Mila, do you think you're gonna have a lot of fun here? I don't know. Hello. Hi. We have a hundred dollars, but yeah. we have to make it last for food, games, and toys. There's not enough. We need more. <laughs> It won't be enough. Beverly, I'm sorry, that's not Oh, oh no! Look, for the whole family, absolutely not enough. But then we bought tickets to the cheapest ride, which was the Ferris wheel. We just spent $48. That's almost half of the hundred. <laughs> we spent half our money on a dumb Ferris wheel. <laughs> but before Mila experiences the Ferris wheel, the kids had other plans. I want an icy. <laughs> so then we spent a whopping $9 on the icy. But then I was tempted to get some ice cream. Can I get ice cream? Probably. If you get ice cream, we're not going to have enough money to do anything else. But then, I had to. I spent $18 on a single cup. And our money's gone. Yep. Oh. How much money do you have left? $24. So $24 for the whole experience left for us. <laughs> I got my $18 dipping dot. This is so stupid. By the way, food is the main part of an enjoyment anywhere you go. Okay, guys, can you tell us in the comments what's better for you guys? If you go to a theme park, would you rather be on rides or eat food? Rides. Please. Rides, right? You'd rather spend more money on food than rides? Yeah. I'm having fun watching other people have fun. That makes no sense. <gasps> okay, so we just got here. This is the Ferris wheel. I'm so excited to go on the Ferris wheel. I know, I'm excited too. Dude, it's so high because this is the $100 experience. We're standing in lines with the $1,000 experience and the $10,000 experience later. We're not gonna have to stand in line. And after waiting for an entire 45 minutes... I'm actually scared. <laughs> we got closer and now she's getting scared. Yeah, look at it. Why do people do this? Has this ride ever had technical difficulties? <laughs> these are the doors. The door, these are the doors. Oh, they're that, locked, they're locked. Dude, I could slip right under. Where's the seatbelt? There's no seatbelt. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Honest, we're gonna tilt, you're too big. Go on that side. 
Dude, calm down. Dude, this is actually hard. Should I go on that side? We could have went on the little <laughs> ride. <laughs> Mila, are you having fun? Yeah, I'm taking pictures with Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at the view. Wow. Oh. We're going up. <laughs> Why are you scared? Okay, this thing is moving. But there was a problem. No, are you having fun? Oh, yeah. What? What do you say? Nothing scary for me. Mila, are you scared? No, I'm not even scared of roller coasters. Noah, don't be scared. It's okay, baby. You'll be okay. Oh, okay, Noah, are you scared now? No. No. You did a good job. Yeah, look at the mountain. Look at the view from here. Mila, I want you to remember this moment at the end of the day when you make the decision, okay? Okay. Okay. And since we couldn't afford going on more rides, we ended up spending the rest of the money on random games. There we go for the memory. Yay, cheese. Let's see. There we go, show me. Oh. oh. I'm still team $10,000. What are you? Yeah. $10,000 too. The $10,000 experience will include hotel rooms, restaurants. And then we arrive to our second most expensive experience. So we're here at Six Flags and we're ready for the $1,000 experience. Before we get on any rides, we just want to say how much we spent so far. Basically, the entrance was $836. That included the fast pass, though. Three fast passes. Three fast passes. This so is how much we have left, and we didn't even eat, buy any toys, We didn't merch. even start the day, so it's going to be interesting. Woo! And as a responsible mom, of course we have to start with some coffee. They have Starbucks. Dude, Asana just found Starbucks here. I feel like the budget is about to go down by a lot no. just at Starbucks. Is it more expensive at Six Flags? Yeah, it's more expensive at theme parks in general. Really? Yeah, coffee. Let's find out. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you want coffee? Want the same as mine? The uh, mocha frappuccino. Yeah, I'll take it. We'll get two of those. And after everybody got their drinks. How's it looking? That's all. How much? Uh, 38, 48 is going to be How our much? Girl. $38.48. Credit card. So up until now, we spent $8.35. How much did we just spend at Starbucks? $38.48. Plus $38.48. We have $127 left. And we we have, didn't eat yet. We didn't buy anything. I could only imagine how much food will cost if we just... <laughs> dude, coffee okay. costs $38. No one didn't like the drink. We just lost $8. I did not like it. You don't like it? I don't like it. Why? Try this. No. <laughs> it's candy, bro. And then it was time to go on some fun rides, but there was a problem. Okay, so we're trying to get Mila on this ride, trying to also get Noah. Do you want to go on this ride? No. Why? It's because fun. You don't want to go? No. Why? Because, um, because I want to go cold. I cry. You're going to cry? Yeah. Why are you going to cry? Because. But after seeing Mila get on some rides... Hi, Mila! <laughs> Noah decided to face his fear. You want to go with Mila on that ride? Yeah. Oh, you big boy, you're a man! You're a man! Right? Yeah. High five. So Noah's getting on the ride now, and we're getting scared. Mila's coming! Yay, yeah. yeah, Noah! This is his first like I've theme park ever experience. I think he's gonna cry. Do you think he's gonna I think, I think he's gonna, gonna, gonna cry. I think he's gonna cry. Oh my god, I told this him I told the guy to stop the ride if he cries. <laughs> wow, no wow. Okay, so Alan's right beside him and he has his hands on his like, whoa! Hey Noah, say bye! Bye! bye. <laughs> he almost cried. He's like, I'm not sure, should I cry? Are you okay? What happened here? I cried. 
Why were you crying? Because what? I can't. You're scared? Yeah. <laughs> you were so brave. High five. He's Good a big job. boy. You're a big boy. But before heading to the VIP $10,000 experience, the kids met their favorite characters. And then we almost won the claw machine. <laughs> and after getting ripped off with three plates of chicken tenders for a hundred and fourteen dollars, I think one fourteen bucks just from these things. For chicken <laughs> tenders. And then the guys decided to go on some really scary rides. Masala so scared she said she wasn't gonna come on. <laughs> to the most expensive theme park where Mila has to make a decision. And now it's time to show you what $10,000 gets you at Disneyland! Whoa! And then we got this one-of-one -one Mickey Mouse suite for $5,900 a night. I'm excited, Daddy! Let's get this party started! Let's get this oh. <laughs> So I want to show you guys what $5,900 gets you here at this Mickey Mouse pet house. Wait, wait, wait! We're giving away a lot of cool stuff. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment done, and we will send you the gift wherever you are around the world. I'm gonna do the tour. Okay, Mila's gonna do the okay. tour. Okay. So this is the kitchen. Okay. Wow. So this is the it's kitchen, gone. and it's this is a door, and this is the Mickey Mouse phone. Hello, hello. Hello. Where is he? You better answer for five thousand nine hundred dollars. That's what I'm saying. Plus a 400 square foot living room. Look at the Mickey Mouse logo up there. This is a huge suite. And it also comes with a fully decked out Mickey Mouse bedroom. Dude, look how nice this room is. And the craziest thing is the bathroom. Check this out. Oh, wow. This whole room is Mickey Mouse inspired. Look at this. You even have the Mickey Mouse walls in the shower. And Daddy, look, there's a Mickey Mouse Yes, to hold the towel. Dude, there's a Mickey Mouse this is, thing. This is crazy. In addition to the Mickey Mouse themed master bedroom and access to a private pool. I don't know if this is worth $5,000. <laughs> For one day. And if you guys are wondering if the Disneyland tickets come with this room, they actually don't, so you have to buy those separately. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. $5,900, that's almost six grand, and you don't get Disney tickets. And before showing you what a $10,000 VIP ticket gets you, we changed the kids into these $60 outfits. Oh, wow. Where's Spider-Man? Right here. Right here. <laughs> Look oh. who became Elsa. Princess. So tonight you're going to decide? Yeah! And this is what a VIP experience at Disneyland gets you. You can skip all the lines. Yeah, Are you excited? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Why are you scared? I'm scared that I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> <laughs> you get access to exclusive gourmet restaurants, but you still have to pay for it. Mila, moment of truth. Tell me what you think of the food. Try it. Mm. Is it good? Yeah, you should try it. I'll try it. I thought like with ten thousand dollars you get to drive in a golf cart with Mickey around Disneyland, but we're just eating regular pasta. <laughs> <laughs> My plate is actually really good. I think it's good. Honey, how much do you think it's gonna cost? For all of us, yeah. I think it's gonna come up to like three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, okay moment of truth. Okay, One, how much? Two, three. How much? How much? Two hundred. One ninety-eight dollars. Okay, listen, listen, listen. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. I thought bad. it was gonna be three hundred. Dude, the comparison is six flags. How much do we pay at six flags for just three? No, two chicken tenders and chili fries and a drink. How much do we pay there? One forty with the drinks. Yeah. And you just paid one ninety eight for gourmet, yeah, gourmet steak food. Steak too. Yeah. And finally, the real reason why people get VIP exclusive tickets to Disneyland is to get the best viewing spots for the fireworks. Dude, we're literally right in front of the castle. That's crazy. <laughs> Look where we are. <laughs> and then the castle is right here. We're gonna cry. <laughs> we're gonna cry. We're so excited. Why are we? Why are we gonna cry? Because Mila, it's so emotional. Yeah, these are like memories. We will never forget them. Kids don't cry from emotion things, and I don't. Because we're kids, and kids don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I cry. <laughs> yeah. This is the best day of my life. Aww. <laughs> 
And before Mila has to make a decision on which experience was the best out of the five, we watch the most magical fireworks show ever. We had the choo-choo train, we had the Ferris wheel, we had Six Flags, and we even had Disneyland! Okay, Mimi, which one do you like the most? Yes, oh, he liked the choo-choo train! Choo -choo train. <laughs> For 10 bucks, okay! Mila, okay. Okay. think about it, think about it! Okay, seriously, think about it! Which one did you like the most? Uh -huh. The Ferris wheel! Wow! <laughs> the wait, wait, wait. Why did you like the Ferris wheel more? Because we land on the beautiful skies and no one's so scared and I make him not scared. <laughs> oh. So the conclusion of the past three days. And don't spend too much money on your kids because no matter where you put them, they're going to be happy. <laughs> That's the moral. Dad, money does not buy you happiness at theme parks. Can I get a refund for everything we did? 